Hey Pisces, it's Zahara Stars with Illum Astrology doing your August 2019 tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm sending you positive energy as always for all the best. Um, please keep in mind these are still general readings. There's a lot of you guys, so it may not resonate with you this time around. So definitely check next time if it doesn't or check the previous month or two even to see if that resonates with your current situation because you all have your sun signs and rising signs at different degrees. Um, these are general readings, so I don't know if it's going to be love, if it's going to be business, or what's going to come out. It's just whatever comes out is what I read. Um, and if it does currently resonate with you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you guys in your comments. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. All right, Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. Also, if this does not resonate, listen to your rising sign, because both houses will be affected astrologically. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Spirit guides, please give me the most accurate messages for what's to come for August 2019 for Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. All right, Pisces, we got a past situation, a past person. We got a beginning, a budding of a new, and we got courage and strength. So some of you were waiting on something from the past to start. Definitely something from the past to start. Now, this could be a love relationship. It also could be a business endeavor. It could be any situation that you've been working on, waiting on, or you needed the courage or the strength to deal with it. It's the eighth house of other people's resources and money as well and deep intimacy. This is a new budding of a new business, a new start of a financial pro project. Um, some of you may have been working on this or started it a while ago and you've been now pushing through and getting it started. And for some of you, it could be um, somebody from the past coming back in earth sign, sun, moon, or rising towards Virgo or Capricorn. They could be immature emotionally don't have to be um it could be a new start something that you've been waiting on with an earth sign or even a leo okay but i see this as something from the past definitely you putting in the work and now it's starting pisces august 2019 all right yeah definitely something you've been working on something you've been working on and holding on tightly to maybe even Really putting in a lot of work into the situation. Some of you have been guarding this project with your life. <laughs> Some of you have been really holding on to your money, trying to strategically plan on what to do with it. The seven of earth is also reaping the rewards of investment put into something. Some of you may have been working on it for seven months, seven weeks, seven days, whatever. It doesn't have to be, but it's something that you definitely were concerned about financially, maybe starting a new endeavor. Okay, holding on to your money, but you're putting in the work and you're protecting it. You're protecting it. You're definitely sticking to it. This is also of determination, persistence. Okay. I definitely see you putting some work into something, having some determination and work. Now, in a love relationship, in a love reading, this could be something that you've definitely put a lot of work into. Somebody from the past that you've been holding on to or they've been holding on to you and they're going to be determined to follow through on this or you are with them. Let's take a look. For some of you, it could be somebody being defensive too and protective or guarding themselves. Pisces, August 2019. Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. There's a lot of action happening for you guys. Messages, phone calls, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of activity, action. Okay, a lot of contracts, commitments, um, deals. Hierophant is the Saturn card to me. And it also has to do with creative projects with the fifth house, creativity. A lot of communication, a lot of work, writing, stuff like that. Um, coming back on contracts, it could be something, wow, and it's going to be big money for you guys. We got the 10 of Earth. So a lot of you, business-wise, you're going to be doing really good. Okay, you're going to be doing really good. You're going to be signing new contracts with new clients, getting new people signed up and some big money's coming your way. But there's going to be a lot of activity. Some of you might be traveling to and from for to meet people, to go to jobs and stuff like that. And some of you in, gar in regards to a love relationship, somebody from the past is going to you're going to start having a lot of communication with them. 
and they see a long-term commitment with you, okay? But because you can read these readings multiple ways, I know some of you are interested in love and some of you are interested in business and I gotta tell you, you've been working hard towards something, definitely started something that, some new project that's taken off, okay? Something that's taking off, something that you've been just really resilient about, okay? And the same thing goes for a love relationship. You guys have put in a lot of time and effort into that. All right, and we got the star card, which could be the card of Aquarius, but it's also a hope and a wish being fulfilled. And then we got the two of water, which is a soulmate connection or a really awesome business partnership. Okay, and we got communication coming through on that. This is an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Could be a partnership that you guys are starting that's really actually good here. Okay, this appears like this partnership is really good. It's kind of like a hope and a wish being fulfilled. Also, for those of you starting um, that are single, you're going to be having somebody come in that's gonna, that you're going to meet. Could be on the internet, could be communicating through whatever means, could even be through business, to be honest. Um, but, or you could have already met this person and they're like a hope and a dream being fulfilled for you. They're a soulmate type person, somebody that's really good for you to fish swimming in the fish bowl and communication coming through with them. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, like I said, and this is the Aquarius card, but I also see, um, a Leo, uh, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn as well. Okay. Um, it could be another water sign too with the two of water, but you know, whatever it is, it's, it's a good partnership. It's a good love relationship and it's starting. There's going to be communication about it. For those of you that this is somebody from the past, if you've been resilient and you really were persistent or they've been persistent with you, this is, this is a good relationship coming through here. If it's a new person, then congratulations, you guys. And if it's a business partnership, it looks really good. Business is really good. There's going to be a lot of activity. You guys are going to be busy, August. Busy, busy, busy. We have another messenger of air, another Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. The magician. Wow, you guys have been manifesting some stuff. Definitely working on manifesting and a new cycle beginning. Hmm. Some of you might be starting a new cycle with an air sign, with an earth sign, with an Aquarius. Um, but again, it doesn't have to be, could be another water sign, whatever it is, this person, either you've been trying to manifest a new start in your life. Cause Pisces, you guys are really good at doing that. You guys can visualize, see the future, go into it and just m start manifesting things like crazy. You guys are the, are the Kings and Queens of the manifestation. And that's what I see this happening is like your thoughts manifesting here, okay? And then a new cycle and a new world opening up for you guys, a new opportunity, a new world. Some of you may be involved with somebody that's really quite clever. This person, the magician, charismatic, very, very good at everything, okay? Knows how to present things in the right way. Maybe it's a business partner, could be. Um, or it could be somebody you from the past that you are looking to start something new with and there's a new cycle starting with that person. But either way, this is a very positive reading for a lot of good things coming through here. Um, in terms of business, contracts, activity, busy, okay? Busy, busy. And then somebody from the past or even a work project that you've been working on from a, for a while that you've had persistence with is budding and starting. And some of you were holding on to, you know, really holding on to this. You believe in your idea and you know what? That is awesome and go with it. It's going to be awesome. You've been really persistent in it. Okay. And like I said, for a love relationship or a business partnership, it looks like a good one. And it looks like somebody maybe from the past that wants to start new with you and wants to heal the situation, communicate about it. And the two of water is always somebody that's really good for you. So for those of you that this resonates with, you know, if this person is good for you or not. Um, but you guys are manifesting a whole new world here. You guys are truly doing it. All right. So stick with it. Stick with it. Let's get a Oracle card here and see what we have for Pisces, sun, moon, or rising for August, 2019. Pisces, what do we have? Please give me the most accurate message for Pisces. Oh, yeah, a lot of you in the business. It's competition. Some encourage and self-confidence. Okay, for those of you that are pushing this new project, starting this new business idea, okay, you can beat the competition just by being courageous and being confident in your ideas, pushing through. You guys are, because I see this, persistence here. 
okay? Um, but confidence will get you everywhere. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in what you're doing. You gotta believe in the situation and belief will get you everywhere. You guys know this. Oh my goodness, look at this. We got resilience. I was seeing that above here too. Rise above tribulations. Be resilient, Pisces. Okay, rise above the competition, some of the courage. Be self-confident regardless if it's a love relationship, regardless of a business relationship. Believe in yourself. Take the action, fearless action towards your goals and you guys are going to shine bright. This is awesome. All right, Pisces, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, leave your comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. I'm sending you guys positive energy for all the best, as always. If you'd like your own personal reading regarding your own personal situation, again, visit my site at www.alumastrology.com. I do both astrology and tarot. You can pick whichever one works for you. Astrology gives a lot more details into the specifics of the psychology and the timing of events and all that stuff. But... Otherwise, again, lots of love to you until next time.